Greetings to you, dear brethren. Today's gospel is taken from the gospel according to Luke, chapter 14, verses 25 to 33. So to give you an overview of the gospel, Jesus was followed by the great multitude of which he has told them the following, that everyone or anybody who wants to be his disciple or to be his follower should deny his mother, should deny his mother, his father, should deny his sister or brother. And everyone who wants to be his disciple or follow him should take up his cross daily and follow him. And he has given an analogy of somebody who wants to build a tower so he could first settle down and count if he has enough finance so that when he starts he is able to finish, it, to finish it so that the passing by should not laugh at him saying, oh, this one has started the building, he has started the tower but he could not finish it. He also is given an analogy of a king who wants to take an opponent or to, to fight against his opponent. He could first settle down and look if he has enough soldiers for an attack. But if he does not have enough soldiers for his opponent, how can he win that battle? So, what is the message of Jesus today? To give you a practical analogy and practical uh, example, in life, especially those who are, are, uh, are bringing their children and those one who are in marriages. So, uh, those one who are, who are, have, who are growing or are, are bringing their children, we have, we, they make sure that they take all the sacrifice. Uh, they give all everything that they have to make sure that their children have a brighter future. And those one who find themselves in marriages, they make sure that they, they sacrifice every time. They take every penny to make sure that their beloved ones is protected, she or he is safe, and uh, her or his well-being is okay. So, what is Jesus telling us and by using this practical analogy. Though we know that we are living on this earth, though we are attached to our human, other human beings or other materials, Jesus is reminding us that sometimes we take a radical step to, to cling on him. Jesus came on earth to save us. Who are we not to cling, not to sacrifice our time, not to sacrifice our gifts, not to sacrifice our talent, and always to take up his cross and our cross to follow him. So Jesus wants us to take a radical step, always to follow him. We know that we are living in the world, the world of difficulties, the world of challenges, but Jesus is reminding us today that since he has saved us, since he has redeemed us, he also wants us through and out of our self-love to follow him the same. God bless you all. Amen.